Hi friends! In this video we're going to create a short AI generated and AI narrated video. Three tips to survive a zombie apocalypse. What? Where are we? Well I've been playing around with various AI tools and came across this one, Fleeky, for creating narrated videos literally in minutes. And they actually sound very human-like, much better than some of the other AI voices that I've heard. Now this isn't sponsored, it's just a tool that I was impressed with, and if you create content for blogs or YouTube or TikTok or anything else, this could save you a ton of time. So let's just build out this video together and I'll show you the features as we go. This is built in sections, and here you basically just type in the script that you want Sarah, in this case, to read. We can choose a voice other than Sarah, which we'll look at in just a minute, but let's put in the script here, and then we can add images and videos. You can choose from the stock library, AI generated art, or you can upload your own things or use things from previous videos. So for this one, let's go with AI art and we'll search for zombie apocalypse. You do need to hit the arrow over here to get this started. And this will generate a brand new image for us that we can use. Here we go. If you don't like it, you can regenerate one. This will cost you one credit, more on how those work later, but let's say that we're good with this one. And this is basically the opening scene of our video. So let's play this and see how Sarah's voice sounds. In this video, we'll cover three tips for surviving a zombie apocalypse. I think it sounds pretty darn good, but there are other voices and other languages you can use as well. So if we wanted to try out Jason, let's say, we'll select, give that a try. In this video, we'll cover three tips for surviving a zombie apocalypse. So you can try some different things out. I'm going to switch back to Sarah and we'll continue. So let's add another section here. Our first tip for surviving is about shelter and supplies, getting food and water. So let's try using a video for this one. Maybe something like campfire food or something like that. Here we go. Let's go with this video right here. Next, we're going to need some basic self-defense techniques. So let's go with an image for this one. I'll just search for self-defense image and click the arrow. Let's see what we have here. Maybe something like this. Our third tip, we're going to need to form some alliances. Let's choose an image or video for this one. I'll say camping with friends. Let's see what we have here. Maybe this one. And then our final section. The last thing we need to do in the event of a zombie apocalypse is to just sit tight and wait. So let's do something super cheesy here, like a sunrise photo, and preferably with a really happy person. Here we go. This is perfect. All right, let's give this a play and see how we did. In this video, we'll cover three tips for surviving a zombie apocalypse. First, you'll need to find shelter and supplies. Get food and water. Next, you'll need to learn some basic self-defense techniques. And then you'll need to form alliances with other survivors. Then sit tight and wait for the world to return to normal. Okay, great advice. Now you might have noticed the subtitles or captions in there. There are some things you can do under video settings. So by default, those were added for me. I can turn them off if I don't want them. I can adjust size for different platforms that I might be creating for, have different fade effects or zoom effects, and some additional settings as well. So that's basically it. When you're done and you're happy with it, just go to export. This will create a high resolution MP4 and it'll send you an email when it's ready, so it's not going to download right away. So pretty powerful stuff. You do have to create an account to use this, and then there's a few different subscription levels. So there is a free trial available. That's what I started with. You can create up to five minutes of audio and video content per month. I was able to do one short test video before I ran out of my free credits, so I did have to upgrade, but there's a basic plan for audio only, Standard, which will give you video, and then there's premium as well. 
So it's definitely worth giving it a try on the free version. See what you think, see what you can build. And that does it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. For more content like this, be sure you hit that subscribe button. And also let me know what you think below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.